Hey, everybody, or good morning to some. Um, I uh, just wanted to spend five minutes talking about what we're trying to get done in the uh, conference we have coming up and some reflections from last year and why it's important to you. So let me go ahead and time myself here. Okay, um, first of all, if you go back to September 2023, when we published this first article on the WINS framework, which is the idea that if you look at an organization, ask yourself the following question, how much of your cost base is based on the creation of words, images, numbers, or sounds? That's WINS. And that includes moving pictures, music. It also includes um, software. And if your cost base is heavily built up by that, so my former employer at PwC, you know, the, pretty much the entire cost base, give or take a little bit of real estate and some insurance is based on wins work. Then ask yourself a second question, how much of that is already digitized? And if the answer to that, well, both of those is high. We predicted back then that um, your organization was in the crucible. And if you look today, since that time, a year ago, every major consulting company has announced a generative AI robot. Uh, whether it's McKinsey or PwC or Accenture and so forth. If you look in addition, sorry, I'm trying to get back here. Uh, if you look in addition, the um, Tyler Perry production company, the very you know famous producer of the Medea and other films, uh, he when he saw Sora, he stopped a billion dollar project to build a new studio that he was going to do for his production company. S&P Global, the, especially their uh, law products, now have a complete generative AI front end. And as Paul was saying before, the market valuation of the major players has increased more in the past, 24, uh, past 12 months than the entire gross domestic product of Germany. So uh, we think those predictions were pretty, pretty spot on. And um, so that's one th reason to be thinking about the conference, because in this accelerating market, and we think it is accelerating, is very, very hard to keep up. And the real issue is time and understanding separating the wheat from the chaff. So um, what the conference does, it, it accelerates in, in the following three ways. First of all, it tries to take early adopters and tell you about what they're doing. So really lessons from the future, when you think what it is. As uh, William Gibson, the cyberpunk writer, said famously, he said, the future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. So what we look at in the conference is try to pick up little pieces of the future that are scattered all over the place and bring them to the audience. And so the second thing is to really take the concept that we have in the daily news and make it broader. What's optional, what's important, what's essential? And to understand that from the point of view of the executive and also the investor, so whether that investor is a VC investor or a private equity investor and the individual, what does it mean for my career? And from the vendor standpoint, to expose them to uh, a new audience. What do we think some of the key trends are in 2025? Just to share them, there are four that we're going to highlight in the in the thing. First of all, AI is the new UI. Every single thing is going to have a, a UI based on AI, whether that's your car, whether that's uh, your uh, service, hmm, your attorney, services contract, and so forth. Second thing, power to the edge. More and more of intelligence is going to be distributed. And this next set of phones is coming out with neural chips. And for lots of reasons, performance, privacy, and so forth, 2025 is going to be the year of the edge. Model IQ is going to increase. So by some measures, since we've gone from model creation to spending more time on inference, if you look at the most current GPT from um, from OpenAI, what you see is that the it's increased its IQ according to IQ, IQ measures by about 30 points. And the reason for that is it's spending more time running itself against itself on inference, not just the model. We think that IQ increase is going to happen all over the place now that the foundation models have kind of hit hit a, a limit on just making the model bigger and bigger and better. Um, and the last thing is own your own intelligence. We're seeing more and more concern that organizations want to have control, uh, predictability, and cost. And we talked about this before, and actually own those assets and not be vulnerable. At the country level, this is going to show up as sovereign AI. You're going to continue to see places like the UAE, Saudi Arabia just announced a big deal with Grok. You're, I think you're going to see throughout the EU the notion of what is sovereign AI and do we need it? <clears throat> so those are key trends. Two things about bringing the future closer. The uh, At the conference, we try to network you to people who are 
going to accelerate your understanding and your deployment and your career. And that power of networking is going to be essential. And then the last thing, curated providers. So that's what we're trying to do in this accelerating market. Some look at the past in terms of some things we got right and things that we think are critical for 2025.